Here we're going to walk through the animation workspace. Once I have a model of which I want to create an exploded view or create an animation, I can switch to the animation workspace. Once I'm in the animation workspace, you'll notice the toolbars have changed and I have new animation specific options. You'll notice I have five buttons across the top. The first is storyboard. Storyboards display the timeline for your animations. They're shown in this track here at the bottom. I can create new storyboards by clicking storyboard at the top or by clicking the plus sign down here. Multiple storyboards show up here at the bottom. Each storyboard has its own timeline where you'll be able to view all your animations. So I'm just going to create a very simple animation. I'll start with an orthographic view, but first I'll switch my timeline marker to zero because I don't want to capture this action as an animation. Now I'll move the player to about two seconds and I'll create my first action. I'm going to select this grip. I'll right click to open the marking menu and I'll select transform components. Now I'll be able to perform a move action. I'll move this component up three centimeters. Notice that in the timeline, there's now a two second move action on the grip component. If I play my animation back, you can see the action take place. Now I'll create a second action on the grip. I'll pull up the marking menu again and this time I'll select show hide. Notice that the timeline has two actions on the grip. The move action and also this light bulb one. So if I play my animation back again, you'll see the grip disappear at the two second mark. I don't want that grip to instantaneously vanish though. I'd rather have it fade out. So I'm going to drag the end of that action out a second and a half or so, which will create a fade out. I'd like to shorten the time on that move action a little bit, so I'm going to drag it back a half second and I'll line up the show hide action with it. For the next part of this animation, I want to expose the blade, so I'll create a couple more hide actions. I'm going to hide the left side of the knife and I'll also hide the blade cradle. In the timeline, I'm going to drag those actions out to start at about the three and a half second mark, and I'll give them a fade out as well. Now I'll create a camera action. If I zoom in on the blade, you'll notice a view gets created here. I can adjust when that view starts or ends on the timeline, just like any other action. One last thing I'll do is create a callout using the annotation button at the top. I can place that callout anywhere on the model, give it some text, and now that callout will appear in the animation. You can hover over the callout to see its text. So let's play the animation back one more time and see the whole thing. I'm going to quickly show you how to share or publish your animation. If you click publish in the top toolbar, you'll see the video options dialog box. From here you can select if you want to export the whole document or just the current storyboard. You can also set the screen resolution and aspect ratio. After you click OK, you can give the file a name and a location and a file type and then press save. 